So much of the week has focused on climate change and what individual countries are doing to tackle it. As one of the most affected in North Africa, Morocco is working hard to adapt and mitigate the effects. Leila Benali is Morocco's Minister of Energy Transition and Sustainable Development. Earlier she told me more about how they're doing it. Thank you very much, Amanda, for uh, the invitation and thanks for um, IMF for actually bringing 15,000 people here in these annual meetings. And it's a great opportunity, of course, to talk about Morocco and other countries uh, move towards climate because I think there's an increase in awareness that climate is one of the triple planetary crisis and challenges that humanity has to face in the 21st century. So of course Morocco being that uh, ambitious uh, player in the renewable field, we started in, under the enlightened leadership of His Majesty the King back in 2009 in our energy strategy to push for more renewables and more energy uh, integration and energy efficiency and of course also regional integration because we cannot do it alone. Uh, I think today we are in that momentum and that shift where we have to scale investments in the renewable energies, in the grids as well, in storage to enable flexibility, security and affordability of energy. We are multiplying our investments by two, three and four when it comes to the grid. So today, just to give you some numbers, mm -hmm. we have 11 gigawatts of installed capacity in Morocco. Roughly half of it is renewable energy. We need to install equivalent 11 gigawatts between now and 2030. Eight gigawatts of that will be solar and wind. Three gigawatts will be thermal to enable flexibility in the system. That will require additional investments, of course, in renewables, like $8 billion that we need to inject in the renewable energy value chain, but also investments in the grids and storage to enable flexibility and connectivity with uh, the Mediterranean markets, with the African markets and the Atlantic Basin. So all that gives you an idea of the amount of uh, investment that we need to accelerate. So we are, that's why I'm saying that we are multiplying basically our pace of annual investments in the energy sector and energy transition sector by five. Right, and you've recently been approved for the Resilience and Sustainability Trust from the IMF. How much of a difference is that going to make? I think the Resilience and Sustainability Fund gives us flexibility also in the way we provide security also for the private sector because one of the things that the private sector seems to be praising in these, uh, in these beautiful uh, IMF World Bank annual meetings is the visibility and uh, the, the certainty that Morocco provides over the medium and long term to be able to craft new type of business models and innovating financing, financing schemes to accompany us in this transition. And we cannot do that if we, are, if we feel uh, uncomfortable with our financial and fiscal stability. So it's very important to have uh, the luxury of being able to do that, but also the luxury of time because we have to deploy those innovative uh, business models and innovative financing schemes very fast. I'm, when I was talking about the fact that we need to inject in a business as usual case one, million, one billion dollars of investments every year, it's starting today in 2030. I cannot wait to 2050 to, to do that. Right and just I'm interested in your feeling as you are here in Marrakesh and you're interacting with all of these different countries, everybody has climate on their mind. Do you feel now that we've reached the point where it's no longer about choice, it's about necessity and that countries know that now? I think there is an increase in awareness of one, climate is affecting everyone. It's affecting some countries more disproportionately than others, indeed. Uh, the African continent being di disproportionately affected. Some countries in South America, the small islands as well, are also disproportionately affected. Uh, mind you, Morocco, as a chairman of uh, the United Nations Assembly for the Environment uh, until March, we, were, we are increasing awareness of the fact that 25% of the UN membership might disappear before the end of the century because of climate. So that raises some questions that humanity has never been faced with uh, in its history and we need to provide answers that we were not e equipped to provide in the past. So that's why today in this vibrant gatherings I think there is an increase in awareness that of course Climate is important, 
but also you cannot cater to sustainability before catering to affordability and security. Okay, Minister Benali, I know you have a very busy schedule, so thank you for joining us on IMF today. Thank you so much, Amanda.